green Vince McConnell South Fit TV. We're fixing to actually go through a chest workout. We're at Vince's Club ET Fitness in Fairhope, Alabama. It's a beautifully equipped club. And uh, tell them what we're doing. Uh, today we're going to emphasize the uh, pushing muscles of the upper body. We're going to start out with chest and uh, specifically the upper chest. So we're going to work more in a vertical range of motion as opposed to the horizontal, which you would do with a flat bench. So we're going to work the upper chest, the area right up under the clavicles to start with. We're going to do a compound set, which involves two exercises for the same body part. That's different than a superset where you're using two exercises that oppose each other. So we're going to go straight from a basic movement, which is the incline dumbbell press, over to a, um, an isolation movement, which is a single joint movement, where you're going one arm at a time, and again, you're going to emphasize the area right up under the clavicle. So the combination of the two is greater than if you were just to do one of the two. We've already done two sets. We did a set of 12, a set of 10 to get ready to do this set. So you always want to warm up. We're going to do four sets of this exercise, going 12, 10, 8, 6, or, or, or thereabouts. And just, this is personal preference. Vince uses a little higher incline than I do. And that's just perfect. He's about 45 degrees. I think I'm at about 35 when I do mine. Um, that's personal preference. The, uh, the dumbbells you're seeing Vince use are incredible. These are power blocks. And Vince uses them in his club. And I, I love the way they balance it. It didn't take me any time at all to get used to them. I, just, I think they're great. And uh, we're on the personal training side of Vince's club at ET Fitness. And we, he's also got the Vortex. We're using the Vortex in the second movement that we both have and nobody else has in either city. All right, he's going straight into the... And we're going to do these... Yeah, step inside the machine. Yeah, let's right? go. Let's go right hand on right so side. That's perfect. Explain to him what you're doing. You, okay. can, you can breathe a little now. Now, we're going to keep a slight bend in the elbow here and we're going to go low to high. The trajectory is key on this. We don't want to come down here or we change. The pectoral is a fan-shaped muscle. And in that case, we want to make sure that we're hitting the upper aspect of the pectoral, which is in the area. Again, right up under the, clap, um, the um, collarbone. And when you come across the center line of your body, instead of doing what your natural tendency is, which is to Rotate. turn in the opposite yeah. direction, we want to turn into it. Here, and you notice I'm just crossing the center line of my body. I'm not taking it all the way across. And on these, you want to about double the reps. We did eight reps here. We want to go up to 16 on this exercise. And this is really an isolation Shh. concentration. You really want to contract it at the end and squeeze Shh. it. And you'll think we're, we're using a fairly light weight. Yeah, Good. you don't need much. You especially. don't need much weight after backing off of what we just came off of. See, you're right. Exactly, we're here, and again, come across that imaginary line and turn into the movement as you get to the top. And when you do this exercise for the first time, it's going to feel a little bit tricky in the sense that you're going to want to use more of your shoulder, but the key is to always let the pectoral outrun the shoulder. Right. That's the key to any fly exercise, as opposed to, I'm going to show you an incorrect one first. Here, don't let the shoulder go yeah, out front know. of the pectoral. Keep the chest always out front. Poke it out. Exactly. Your chest. Jason's got perfect form, and you notice how he's coming down, and he's just breaking that imaginary plane of parallel with his upper arm. He's not trying to drop it all the way down to the ground with his elbows. He's just breaking, boom, right there. Even though the dumbbells could go down further than a bar, he's not taking the dumbbells down any further than if he was using a barbell on this exercise. Once again, notice how his chest is outrunning his shoulder. Always remind yourself when you're training, and the same thing on the bench press that we were just doing with the dumbbells, you want the chest to always be elevated. That's the key to doing a pectoral exercise as opposed to just doing a bad shoulder exercise is to keep the chest out front of the shoulders. I got news for you. You may can do 16 of those, but I'm only uh, doing eight. I'll, I'll, I think I, I, think I well did, I think I did 15. I don't think I got the 16. <laughs> I'm gonna count, and I'll go back on the video and I'll count his reps. He may have. Great form here. And you can feel that. It's so different. There's lots of ways to do a cable. And you'll see Vince and I instinctually take our fingers. Yeah, right there. We know what we're trying to and feel. There may not be anything 
um, such thing as spot reduction, but there's definitely spot training in the sense that you can train a specific part of your body and have a visual effect occur from that.